Come the first of the year, thousands of inmates across New York State, including all over central New York, will be released from jail. It's part of New York's criminal justice reform, modeled after a similar program in neighboring New Jersey. New Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski has been looking at how it's worked in the neighboring Garden State. To Bring us up to speed on that situation. Yeah, it started, guys, in January 1 of 2017. This is the report detailing 2018, second year of the program. Now, it may end up being the most lasting legacy of conservative Republican New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. The conclusion in this report released this past spring detailing 2018 of the criminal justice reformers, they refer to it CJR, is that it's working as intended while assuring community safety. Just like New York will starting in January, New Jersey has already moved away from a criminal justice system that relies heavily on monetary bail. This 50-page report prepared for the governor and legislature in New Jersey compares stats from before criminal justice reform and numbers after it took effect. It shows predictions of an increase in crime did not materialize. The rate of defendants charged with new criminal activity while out on pretrial release was virtually the same as under the cash bail system, just under 13% in 2014, nearly 14% in 2017. And authors of the report caution, small changes likely do not represent meaningful differences. Now, looking solely at defendants released pre-trial in 2017, less than 3% were accused of committing what would be considered a no early release act or Graves Act offense. The report also concludes that on the other end of the spectrum, higher risk individuals who pose a danger to the community or are not expected to reappear in court are no longer able to secure their release simply because they have access to funds. More than 70% of CJR defendants are released on a summons pending the disposition of their cases without first being sent to jail. The vast majority of those arrested in New Jersey who are jailed under CJR were released in 24 to 48 hours. Now, the rate at which defendants appeared in court remained high after the reform law, with an average appearance rate of almost 93% in 2014 and just over 89% in 2017. So while New Jersey's bail reform did not cause a spike in crime, according to that report, it did find the program is going broke under their current method, which relies on annual court filing fees. Now, in New York, they're not going to rely on this. The governor says the reform, for one, will lead to fewer people in jail. And that means savings to county, which can help pay for the cost of implementing this bail reform law. Rod? Jeff, thank you. On average, the population of New Jersey's jails declined by a few thousand defendants per day in 2017. And that translates to more than 750,000 fewer jail beds over the course of a year. Head to the News Channel 9 app to read the full report.